Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own scratch game menu. So as you can see, we have the information button, the credits, and the play game. And I've made a very simple movement game right here. And we can also press this to go back to our menu. So let's get to it. First, we have to create a new project. <coughs> After that, we can just name this anything. Um, I'm just going to name it menu. So first, let's pretend this is my game. So I'll call it game. And first of all, we need to paint a new sprite and call it menu. Now we have to design a menu in our costume editor. And I suggest using the color scheme of your game. So I'm going to use orange because the cat is orange to make it fit. That back color picker and get the orange. Just going to reduce the saturation a bit. There we go. So now we have the background. You can just add, you can just design this any way you want. I'm just going to call it my game. Since I already have the pre-made one, I'm not really going to um, design it that much. You can if you want. <coughs> zero, zero. Next, um, you want to design the buttons. I'm just going to make these white. So play game, the first button. Um, most menus just have the play game and um, info information or credits. So I'm just going to put two buttons for this one. The first one is play game. The second one is um, info like that. Just group these together and move it down. <coughs> there we go. So um, you can make it more advanced if you want. For now, I'm just going to make it a bit simple to make it a bit easier to understand. So first of all, we need to divide the buttons and the menu screen. So paint a new sprite, call it play button, and cut this and paste it here. Change the x, y axis to make it match. And cut the info button, make an info sprite. Oops, sorry. Make an info sprite. Paste. Zero, zero. There we go. So now we have the menu background and the buttons separated in different sprites. So now we have to make the actual menu. So first of all, we go into menu. When we green f flag cl clicked, broadcast, menu. Now, when I receive menu, you just want to drag in a show for um, the buttons and a hide 
for our game. And there's the menu, height. So now only our menu is appearing on the screen, so that's perfect. Now we need to make these buttons work. So in the three menu, first we have to make the um the colors change when you're touching the buttons. So drag in a forever loop after the show. If and a touching mouse pointer. Then we're going to first of all we have to make a new costume. Call the first one untouched. And call the second one touched. And just make this a bit different. So I'm going to make it a bit grey. After we do that, um if touching mouse pointer, switch costume to touched. And while we're touching that mouse pointer, we're touching the button, we just want to wait until not touching the mouse pointer. And then switch costume to untouched. Before we test this, we just want to put a switch costume to untouched on the top of the forever loop right here. So as you can see, it works perfectly. <clears throat> Next, after that, we're going to code the info button. So it's going to be so similar, we can just copy that into the information button. And create the touched and untouched. Untouched. Touched. We can in fact just um copy this to get the correct color. Like that. Now let's test it. It works the same. Now when we click the buttons. So first of all for the information button. When this sprite clicked, we want to broadcast info. <clears throat> when I receive info, we just want to hide. Like that. And just copy this for the play button. And now for the menu, when I receive info, hide. But instead of hiding when we receive info, we want to create a new costume. So call this one menu screen. Duplicate credits. So I'm just going to make it really simple for the sake of um this video. So cool happy made this. Like so. Just paste that there. Now, when we click info, we want it to switch costume to credits. <coughs> oh, and um, switch costume to credits, no, menu screen when we receive menu. Like that. But... Typically, people want to go back to the menu after looking at the credits, so we're going to um, make a back button. So what you can do is just copy this, make a new sprite, call it back, paste, zero, zero. And do the same thing as before, untouched, touched, and then color this gray, and then change this to back, there we go, 
now we can in fact code this so when I receive menu hide and when I receive info show <laughs> when I receive um <coughs> info just plop um we can in fact just drag this here like that there we go now to code it when this part clicked broadcast menu like that there we go it works perfectly now for the play game that's fairly simple we just have to go into the play button when this play clicked broadcast <coughs> play when I receive play hide and same for the info and the back just in case and the menu so that's about it we go to the menu and to play game then it works oh and we have to do when I receive play I want to show so um this is our menu completely made if you click info it tells you if you made it back play game and it loads so that's about it and make um make sure to subscribe and like and thanks for watching this video bye